Greetings YouTube, Joe here with Culination Media, and today I have a nice little competitive battle for you all. I've been thinking about doing this for a long time, and I figured, why not? It should be a lot of fun, and uh, I love competitive battles. They're, they're just awesome. But anyway, uh, I'll be putting a couple of these up every week, just for kicks, and uh, this is actually recorded off of Pokemon Showdown, and I will leave a link in the description for you, but um, yeah, let's get started here. Alright, so let's get started here. As you can see, I'm at the top of the screen, not the bottom as usual. And uh, my opponent is Project Alpha. He's going to start off with a Tyranitar. And I have Hippowdon to start off with, and it starts a Sandstorm, of course. And uh, he predicted an Earthquake, so he switched out to Gliscor, and that was a good move by him. And uh, he pulls off an Earthquake as I switch out into Tentacruel, which is super effective. And I thought I could outspeed him there and get off an Ice Beam and kill him, but that was not the case, so Tentacruel bit the dust before he got to do anything. So I'm going to bring out Heatran now, who has Hidden Power Ice, and that takes care of Gliscor, and I think he was not expecting that. Uh, but he goes into Starmie here, his Mick Fly, so I'm going to switch back and go into Ferrothorn, expecting a Water move, and he goes for Surf and crits me, but it only gets me down to about 70%. And then after the leftover, it's really not that much. Anyway, he's going to switch out Starmie here for Blissey, and I know this thing is going to be annoying as crap because I have my own Blissey that is super annoying. Uh, anyway, this thing knows Flamethrower, which I was not expecting, and it takes me all the way down to 30% uh, HP, but I do get the Leech Seed off, and that's amazing because Blissey has so much HP that I'll be able to recover, I don't know, maybe a good like 25-30% of my HP just from the Leech Seed and Leftovers. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous. So anyway, I'm back up to 89%, and he goes for the flamethrower again, gets me down to 40%. And this time I do hit with the power whip, and that does a lot of damage because Blissey doesn't really have anything in the way of physical defense. And I'm thinking that this specific one doesn't have very much investment as far as EVs go. Anyway, I'm going to go for a protect, thinking he was going to try to go for a flamethrower again. I was trying to stall him out uh, so that I could get more health back, but instead he goes for soft boil to recover his own health. And it was kind of a stalemate there. He switches back into his Godzilla, his Tyranitar. And I get some spikes off, so that's good. And he goes for the Super Power. Uh, and that gets me down into the red zone, but it does lower his attack and defense. And I'm able to get a Leech Seed off this turn, so I can get a good amount of health back as well. Um, but if he does that again, he's going to be able to kill me. So I'm going to try to protect and try to get some more of my health back here. Um, and I still think that that's not quite enough. He's probably still going to kill me, so I'm going to switch out Ferrothorn into Hippowdon because I know he can take a physical attack, and it's not super effective. And his attack and defense are going to fall even more, and we'll get some health back from the Elite Seed again, so Hippowdon's pretty much almost up to uh, full health. Anyway, he switches out to his McFly again, his Starmie, and I go for an Earthquake, and that takes away about half of his health, and uh, that puts hip out on back at 99%, but he's going to go for a Surf this turn, so I'm going to switch back into Ferrothorn, who resists it, and I don't have the Leech Seed recovery now because he switched out Tyranitar, so that is a little bit unfortunate. He goes for the Rapid Spin to get rid of my Stealth Rocks and Spikes and all that stuff, um, but I guess he didn't think I would go for Power Whip that turn, maybe he thought Leech Seed, I don't know what, but I went for the Power Whip and then it takes out Starmie. So, I'm going to go for the Protect now and see what he does. And he does go for the superpower again, so I don't know that my Ferrothorn is going to be able to stand up to this Tyranitar, so I need to switch him out again or he's going to die. So I'll switch back into Hippowdon to absorb the hit and also get his attack and defense lowered. And uh, now I'm looking at his team and he doesn't have anything that can resist Earthquake. That's good news for me, so I can safely pull that off. And he does switch into uh, his Lobster, which is Scizor, and that uh, does an okay amount of damage. I get Stealth Rocks off again because Scizor went for a Pursuit and he goes for it again. I think he's just trying to predict that I'm going to switch out to Heatran or Salamence maybe, um, but he does it twice and it does almost no damage and I didn't switch, so I don't know. Anyway, I went for the Roar when he brought out his uh, Lucario there and that drags Blissey back out into the battle and I know this thing only has Flamethrower as an attack because it has uh, Toxic, Flamethrower, Soft Boiled, and oh well, I think I'm just missing an attack, but I don't think it's an attack move. Well, I guess we'll have to see. He's just going to keep going for the uh, Soft Boiled here. I'm going to roar him out, 
and bring Lucario back in and see if he'll just stay in because it would help to get rid of him. He goes for the Ice Punch knowing that it's super effective and it doesn't do that much damage because this Hippowdon is just amazingly bulky and it took hits from Tyranitar, Lucario, just fantastic. An Earthquake takes out Lucario very easily because he's fragile. Anyway, Godzilla comes back out here and he goes for the Crunch and it leaves Hippowdon with 1%. And he, that means he can get off an Earthquake, and Tyranitar goes down, and uh, unfortunately, uh, Hippowdon's going to go down to Poison, but he just did an amazing job in this battle. So I'm going to go into my Heat Trend, and he'll go into his Scizor, and that was a good guess for me. And I get off a Fire Blast, super effective, and Scizor has no chance for that, so he's down to Blissey now. And he did get damaged by the uh, Stealth Rocks a little bit, and it looks like Fire Blast just isn't going to do that much damage. Looked like it only did about 20-25%. Uh, and if he just keeps using Soft Boiled, he'll be, re be recovering like twice as much as I can do to him. And I would need to get the, uh, not the Soft Boiled, the uh, Burn in order to have anything productive. I don't know why he went for a Flamethrower there. Um, you have to know that Heatran has Flash Fire ability. Um, I guess he thought maybe I had Flame Body, but that's not the case. So that's just going to make my Fire Blast a little bit more powerful. Unfortunately, I'm running out of PP here at this point because I've used it a bunch of times. So I think I just uh, am going to use it until I get down to no PP and then I'll switch because, I don't know, I, you know, I might get a critical hit or I might actually get the burn condition, but it just doesn't appear as though it wants to work out that way. So he keeps going for soft boiled here and after all this, he's you know, down to like 42% and he's probably going to go for a soft boiled again, which he does, gets back up to uh, about 92% after all the sandstorm and leftover damage. And now I'm out of PP and I'd have to use Struggle because this Heatran is Choice Scarfed. So I'm going to bring in Ferrothorn and he goes for the uh, soft boiled again, but uh, now that he only has one Pokemon, it's a really good idea to get off a Leech Seed here because he can't switch out of it and Blissey has so much HP that I'm just going to recover mountain loads of HP every turn. Uh, Ferrothorn did get burned by the Flamethrower, and he's going to be taken out by this one, but the Leech Seed is still going to be effective, so uh, I'm in good shape here, even though I lost a couple of Pokemon. So I'm going to bring out Salamence, and I think Salamence can finish this. Uh, he's in, not immune, but resistant to Flamethrower as long as they don't get burned. He's probably going to try to Toxic me, but I have a Lumberry, so I get a free turn. And he does go for the Toxic, and I went for the Dragon Dance to try to up my attack. I'm going to go for another one, um, just because I have a free turn. And he's going to go for Toxic again, but this time he's going to miss. And it doesn't really matter at this point, because Blissey's defenses are just not equipped to be able to handle a Dragon Claw from a uh, plus two attack Salamence. And Blissey goes down, and that's going to be the end of this battle. So uh, that was a good game, Project Alpha. We'll have to do it again sometime. That was a lot of fun. Uh, it wasn't a particularly amazing competitive battle. Um, we both kind of made some silly mistakes there. Um, but yeah, this is just my first first match, so I thought I would show that to you guys and just to kind of get you know our feet wet, so to speak. And I'll be posting some better battles as uh, time goes on. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Game on.